drive like you're going to Coachella, and then keep going south on the 111. There you'll find the largest lake in California that you've never heard of. Or maybe you have. We didn't. Since 1905, this accidental 343 square mile body of water has been here. But that wasn't supposed to happen. The Salton Sea was not part of the plan. Never was. The sea's on track to disappear, die, wither away, with the surrounding wildlife expected to do the same. The logical response would be to fill it up, to save our sea. But is it even worth saving? Over the millennia, the area now referred to as the Salton Sea has gone through a cycle of filling and emptying. It was natural until men got involved. An irrigation project gone wrong led to a constant flow of the Colorado River filling up the basin for two years straight. About halfway through its current lifespan in the 50s, 60s, 70s, it was an extremely happening place. Um, so many people came here to have fun. It was Palm Springs with an ocean. We had so many people from all over the world coming down here. We had lots of celebrities, we had Bob Hope, we had Dinah Shore, Guy Lombardi. I uh, first came here in the 70s and spent some time here um, and uh, it already I think had had reached its heyday and moved on a little bit. Uh, there were still a lot of boats in the water and there were still a lot of people around here still went fishing all the time and uh, brought uh, wonderful really delicious sea bass and uh, other good fish. The salinity or saltiness of let's say the, the ocean is somewhere around 3.5%. The Salton Sea currently sits at 4.4%. No outflow and salt being flushed from surrounding farms will only drive that number up until the fish populations die out altogether. The water hasn't been uh, taken care of, it's been neglected, and it hasn't been treated like a closed system. It's a terminal lake, so there's no outflow, so we need to treat it like a fish tank and it's not what it once was. At the Salton Sea, we are seeing many effects of climate change. The area is getting warmer. Um, we're not getting as much snowpack. There's not as much water going to the rivers. It's not just the water that's the issue here, though. Deep down in the lake bed lay chemicals from pesticides. Pesticides from those same farms surrounding the sea. They've made their way into the earth below and in combination with the already high levels of arsenic, made it completely toxic. There will be massive air quality problems due to blowing dust. A lot of people that live a little bit further away don't really realize uh, the impacts that this would have on them. The more the water level recedes, the more exposed this dirt becomes. Locals have already experienced the harmful effects of this toxic dust, asthma and emphysema being a few of them. Personal health is just one of their many struggles. Seeing it all kind of torn down is kind of saddening because people came out here when there was so much life into it, hoping that it would maintain the life and now it's gone to an empty waterless dock. There's no real way to pinpoint one person to blame, but we can point out the people that have the best resources to fix it. How do we fix this? How should we fix this? Voices have chimed in on the issue from every corner, with propositions like $20 million desalination ponds to $9 billion canal systems connecting the sea to the Gulf of California. But California has plenty of water issues to deal with, so what makes this one more important? We're not entirely sure. We think natural resources like water are for the taking, but they're not. We can shepherd the sheep all we want, but that doesn't mean the sheep has to listen. And we're not dealing with a sheep. We're dealing with a lion, one that roars and has the power to destroy if we don't listen. I've been hurt in my life, and there's been people who have supported me and built me up, and I feel like the Salton Sea is being neglected and I should support it and help it build up and be lively again. Clean up after yourself. 
We're told to do that as kids at the dinner table when we've made a mess. And yet it seems like we're taught a lot as children. Once we're adults, it's like we sacrifice manners all in the quest for control. The salt and sea is just one example of our mess, and it needs to be cleaned up. The problem is the cost. But is there a cost too high if our lives depend on it? <laughs>